Italian top flight. Big game there on Sunday between AC Milan and Juventus. Juventus 1-0 winners. Malik Chao sent off in the first half. From Milan, uh, Manuel Locatelli with the game's lone goal in the 63rd minute as Juventus picks up the three points there. And we got ourselves a little bit of a log jam atop Serie A. Inter Milan first with 22 points. AC Milan second on 21. And Juventus, thanks to the big three points picked up today, up into third place and just two points off the top of the table. All right, for more, joined again by our good friend and colleague, Gab Marcotti. Gab, great to have you with us. Uh, big win for Juventus. How'd they do it? Uh, well, short answer, uh, Malik Chow got himself uh, uh, sent off. He, 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 Juventus playing uh, two up front um, with uh, with Moise Ken and Arik Milik, and that means the center backs have to go one-on-one, -on -one, ball over the top, and Malik Chow does what you're not supposed to do. He puts his hands on him and uh, brings him down rather than maybe jockeying or, or whatnot. And Milan, I think, had certainly started brighter, uh, had created better chances earlier. And, you know, you go down to 10 men in the first half, eventually, um, you're going to find a way to grind you down. Although, mind you, a bit fortunate, perhaps, with that Manuel Locatoli uh, uh, shot, which was, uh, which was deflected uh, past the goalkeeper, Mirante. But how about a stat for you, Seb? Uh, it's October uh, 22nd. Uh, and uh, Manuel Locatelli scores in a 1-0 win for Juventus over Milan, uh, which is exactly what he did seven years ago, also on October 22nd, also in a Milan-Juve game, except back then he was playing for Milan. What uh, a yeah, coincidence. What a coincidence. Uh, Gav, i got to ask you about the American perspective here. Of course, we had uh, four American players between these two teams, Tim Weah, Weston McKinney with... Juventus, Yunus Musa, and Christian Pulisic for AC Milan. Pulisic, obviously, very disappointing, Gab. He came off uh, in the first half. What did you make overall of the American performance? And I wonder how much of this was discussed kind of during the week in Italy, because I would have thought it was mostly an American story, but I saw some of the Italian papers were interviewing Greg Berhalter in the lead-up to this match. Well, uh, why wouldn't they? He's got four of his guys there. Um, like, Pulisic had to come off because, you know, uh, after... After Schau came off um, or, or, or was sent off, Pioli had no choice but obviously send on uh, uh, Kalulu. And obviously in those situations, you take off a winger and you're not going to take off Lau. Um, so I think he gets a pass. I thought Musa uh, tailed off a little bit on the Juve side. Um, I was impressed uh, with the work uh, Tim Weah did, you know, playing in that in that wing back role. Uh, and McKenney, of course, also did his job in in, in midfield. I mean, like. This is Juve, ultimately. They were away from home. They knew that eventually they are going to wear Milan out um, when, you, when you play so long with a man advantage. So I, it, it wasn't necessarily a great game or a spectacular game. It was certainly much better, I thought, at 11 v 11. There we have it. Uh, Juventus with a 1-0 win over AC Milan. Manuel Locatelli with the uh, game-winning goal in the 63rd minute. Our thanks to Gab. You can catch more from Gab on the next edition of the Gab and Jules Show. The boys usually record on Mondays and Thursdays, if memory serves. You can always find the latest episode available for download on the website ESPN.com.